Tim Collins will come in today. I'm out with Carol Berry. She is running for judge of probate here in Coleman County. Carol, thanks for talking to me today. Thank you. I appreciate you doing this. Now, I have interviewed most all of our incumbent election officials, so I'm starting in on the challengers. Quite a list. You're our first one. My first question is fairly simple, but it might be hard to answer. You've never ran for elective office. You've never been a probate judge. Tell me about what makes you think you can be a, an effective, good probate judge. Tim, I believe the Lord has opened up the door for me to be able to step through it and put my name in the hat for the probate judge position. Um, I want to be the next probate judge of Coleman County. I'm all about helping people, and I believe that the probate office is the office of the people of Coleman County. When you go to that office, you should be able to get the help that you need, an answer for whatever question that you have, and that that should be done with compassion being professional, and you should leave there feeling better about your situation. Makes sense. Well, now you have a little bit of a history dealing with all kinds of people who are disadvantaged or have been victimized or having a problem. How do you translate that skill into the probate office? I mean, how, how does that work for you? I believe, like I said, the Lord, He set me up to do this because in the last eight years, I have been working in a nonprofit and I have been working with women that have drug and alcohol addiction and that is a mental illness. Most of those women have dual diagnosis where they maybe have cutting, um, eating disorder, bipolar, depression, anxiety, whatever that looks like. So I've been in that world now for eight years and that is something that is dear to my heart. I love it. I love working with people and I love helping people. I can I have connections that I can connect you with help. There is help out there. And when you come to the probate office, I would be able, if I can't help you from the probate office, if there's nothing we can do for you there, I would be able to point you in a direction to find you help and hope. Not just for the family member you're there to maybe have committed or whatever that problem is that you're there at the probate office for, but also for the families to let them take care of their self so that they could be stronger and better to assist the person with the problem. Makes sense. Well, I'm going to ask a second question. I've asked this of all uh, candidates in this year's election, is how will you campaign? I mean, you do have an opponent, an incumbent sitting probate judge. I think uh, many of us have seen your signs, but what else are you going to do to, to attract votes to you? I, I leave the house every morning at 7, probably about 7.20, and I don't stop. I get home at night, 9 30, 10 o'clock at night. I believe it's all about the people. I go out and try to meet the people. I do the city hall, the town hall meetings. I go to the senior citizens centers, which I love. That's been a lot of fun. And I really like people. I enjoy going and talking. I actually ran into one of my old teachers and she said, uh, she wanted a sign and then she said, Carol, all your talking is going to pay off now. <laughs> so <laughs> apparently I've always done that, but I do love getting out and meeting the people and I love helping people. So it makes sense. And you, I notice I'm here in, here in your office, you've got t-shirts, buttons, signs. So you're geared up with advertising. That's for sure. Yes, sir. I've been very blessed to have a, just a, a group of friends and family that have just came in and just really supported me. And I'm so thankful for that. Now, all right, let me ask you a final question. Let's fast forward a little bit and let's hypothetically assume that you've been elected by the citizens of Coleman County to be the next probate judge and you walk in your first day. What's that going to look like for everybody? First month, first year, the whole term. What would your plans be? Well, if, if I'm blessed enough to be able to become the next probate judge of Coleman County, I do want to see some change in that office. I want to see it upgraded. I want it to run smoothly. Um, I, I have 23 years experience in the business world. I was in private practice for 19 years and worked with several small businesses. I have written handbooks for employees, I have trained people, and that is something that I love to do also. So I believe I can come into the office and I can streamline, I can make changes that will make that office be more efficient. I believe that we can speed up the time that it takes to have a hearing I believe that we can, um, you know, just, I think there's great staff over there, wonderful staff, but I believe with a little training and a little uh, different maybe style of running that office 
that everything will run smoother and really interface better with your uh, revenue commissioner's office and your sales tax office and and just as a whole. I believe that you all have to you know network and work together and that's how things are accomplished. And I have six years to accomplish several things. I'm looking at different models that we can use that we can make our office better here in Coleman County and I'm excited to get six years to do that.